In Principio Erat Verbum, in the beginning was the Word. There was a man of venerable life and blessed memory, the father and founder of monasteries, who was given the same name as the prophet Yonah. For what is pronounced Iona in Hebrew and is called Columba in Latin means one and the same thing, a dove. In the last years of the world, a son will come whose name Columba will be famous throughout all these ocean islands of Ireland, Scotland and the Western world. So great a name could not have been given to the man of God but by divine providence. For it is shown in the Gospels that the Holy Spirit descended upon the only begotten Son of the Everlasting Father in the form of that little bird. By God's gift from the days of his infancy, our abbot was enriched with the appropriate name of Columba. The Book of Kells, which probably dates from around 800, is a glorious culmination of a whole series of manuscripts. It was created a hundred years or so later than the Book of Durrow, which is the first fully illustrated insular gospel book to have survived. Between these two came the more intricate and ornately illuminated Book of Lindisfarne of around the early 8th century. In turn, the style of this exquisite book was further refined in the Great Book of Kells. And the interesting thing is that all of these manuscripts are associated with St. Columba or with monasteries which he or his own monks founded. The grandeur and the elaboration of the Book of Kells suggests again that it is a, a major effort made to celebrate a great saint who is obviously going to be St. Columba. Here you can look upon the face of the divine majesty drawn in a miraculous way. If you take the trouble to look very closely, and penetrate with your eyes to the secrets of the artistry, you will notice such intricacies, so delicate and subtle, so close together and well knitted, so involved and bound together, and so fresh still in their colorings, that you will not hesitate to declare that all these things must have been the result of the work not of men, but of angels. <laughs> 